بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹ مائی نیم از ڈاکٹر محمد عدنان اصغر اینڈ ٹوڈے دا ٹاپک آف اور ڈسکشن از سنتھس اینڈ ڈیزائن آف ان آرگینک مٹیریلس انڈر دا سبجیکٹ آف ایڈوانسڈ ان آرگینک مٹیریل کیمسٹری ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹ سو فار وی ہیو ڈسکسڈ Uh, many things in the synthesis and design of inorganic materials the content of this title was solid state reactions uh, sometimes known as shake and bake methods low temperature archimedes methods gas phase methods high pressure methods and crystal growth In our previous lectures, we have discussed many things about the said contents, which includes solid state reactions, air, shake and bake methods. Moreover, we have uh, discussed some of the important aspects of shake and bake methods in a detailed uh, manner and uh, we have discussed some of the important examples related to the shake and bake methods moreover uh, the practical considerations and some renowned examples of solid state reactions uh, using starting material to end material we have discussed all the possible conditions and uh, different parameters for the synthesis of these inorganic materials mixing of reactants and we also discuss the important one the container which is very very important for the successful synthesis of desired inorganic compounds moreover uh, there are lot of examples that we have discussed in the previous lectures how to synthesize and what kind of problems we can face Uh, uh, while the synthesizing of these materials and what should be the possible solution uh, to avoid these kind of problems which we discussed earlier in shake and bake methods or high temperature methods uh, for the synthesis of inorganic compounds and we have discussed the combustion synthesis methods by using different reactants and uh, different parameters mechanosynthesis methods while the second one was the low temperature or chimidos methods these are actually various methods to achieve atomic scale mixing of reactants and uh, these are the low temperature methods uh, although final firing at high temperature may be needed so these are supposed to be the low temperature methods and we it is kind of very important method for the manufacturing for the synthesis of many renowned inorganic compounds alkoxide sol gel method is somehow uh, is a kind of subgroup of this low temperature method and uh, tetraethyl ardosilicate uh, is a kind of important and uh, titanium dioxide is a kind of important compounds that can be synthesized by using this kind of uh, low temperature methods silica glass and mag- magnesium aluminium oxide are also uh, important compounds for the synthesis in by using this type of method while well, sol gel method using oxy hydroxide and colloidal chemistry uh, along with the synthesis of uh, zeolites citrate gel process and use of homogeneous single source precursors more importantly in low temperature method the most practical method was uh, hydrothermal or salvothermal synthesis in hydrothermal synthesis is actually the involvement of reactants in the presence of water or if other than water uh, then we can say this is a salvothermal synthesis by using high pressure and temperature methods uh f- for hydrothermal synthesis the more important instrument uh, we can use is the hi- autoclave along with the heating ovens uh, 
we can use uh, autoclave uh, along with the heating oven and autoclave is actually the comprise of two things stainless steel cover the cups and the bottom lids along with the teflon uh, which is placed inside the stainless steel autoclave this is uh, actually the very non reactive compound which uh, would help us uh, for the starting materials to stay as it is due to its non reactivity the reactant compounds cannot react with the material and they uh, they are desired to react with themselves and synthesize and we can get uh, the desired product while these starting material should put into the teflon and uh, then the stainless steel autoclave should place in a heating oven at different variable temperature ranges the temperature may be varies from 70 degree celsius to 320 degree celsius there is a wide range of uh, temperature difference it depends upon the manufacturing of uh, inorganic uh, compounds every compound have specific or optimum temperature where we can get the best results and the best crystal of that compounds here were the some uh, examples which were related to the hydrothermal synthesis uh, and uh, we have used some of the uh, key uh, starting material which is uh, quite easily available in the lab and uh, by using hydrothermal synthesis we, we we are able to explore many important material which gives excellent applications in different fields and subsequently published in uh, high impact factor journals so uh, the main topic of this uh, of our lecture is actually the micro wave synthesis the use of microwave heating is well established in organic chemistry and is increasingly finding use in the synthesis of inorganic materials these inorganic materials especially comprises at nano levels the reaction times are orders of magnitude less than required for solid state reaction and side reactions are less problematic this less problematic uh, actually leads to improved uh, yield and reprodu reproducibility of this microwave synthesis the met method can with care used to mastic microwave ovens but specially designed commercial systems allowing control of power input temperature and pressure are increasingly available so these are very important parameters for the synthesis at commercial levels at commercial level microwave ovens actually have a quite controlled input uh, power inputs and along with the temperature and the pressure as well so these parameters uh, co the combination of these parameter will actually provide the best atmosphere uh, for the synthesis of our desired inorganic compounds microwave region covers the range 0.3 gigahertz to 300 gigahertz but most ovens are restricted to the frequency 2.45 gigahertz this corresponds to an energy of 1 tens power minus 5 electron volt or 1 joule per mole absorption of radiation of this energy is able to affect molecular rotations which actually effectively 
leads to an increase in the temperature and we know that if a molecule absorb uh, energy of specific region it will definitely vibrate or give some kind of rotations these uh, strategies we have already discussed in our previous lectures for example in our previous lecture uh, we have discussed the example of this tri and butyl ammonium trichloroacetate the asymmetric unit of this tabat molecule actually comprises of two tri and butyl ammonium molecules along with two trichloroacetate ions if we observe in uh, diagram a then we we can easily observe that one of the carbon atom in butyl group of tri and butyl ammonium compound is highly disordered one of the carbon atoms occupies actually two positions it means the energy of these this carbon is quite high and it is vibrating at high temperature phase and uh, this is actually the carbon 6 the carbon 20 of the other molecule is actually also disordered at two positions if we observe clear uh, closely uh, the trichloroacetate molecule in tabat uh, compound then we can observe that at low temperature phase this is actually ordered state of the a9 while at high temperature phase the energies of these chloride ions are supposed to be quite high and they possess kind of vibrational energy and they are showing vibrational motions and uh, every chlorine atom actually occupies two positions in the space so the mechanism behind this compound behind this phase transition is actually the order disorderness of this a9 and k9 part so it means that uh, at uh, high temperature phase due to the high energies of the atoms the molecules atoms are quite vibrating and uh, occupies different positions in the space while uh, the below phase transition point uh, it actually the motions of these atoms becomes freeze and we will get the molecule a9 part like this and k10 part like this one so this is actually due to the uh, order disordered motion of the atoms in a9 as well as in the k10 part and uh, we know that this is actually the phase transition point the above this phase transition point is the high temperature phase of the material while below this phase transition point is actually the low temperature phase of the material so low phase of the uh, low phase transition point of this material actually uh, freezes the motions of these atoms while at high temperature the motions become sphere and the vibration of the atoms actually occupies the two positions in the space and it is believed that due to the order and disordered motions of these atoms actually uh, generate this potential phase transitions uh, this is also another example of this type that we are studying in the microwave synthesis process triethyl ammonium picrate and above room temperature phase transition material to switch quadratic non linear optical properties absorption of radiation of the specific energy is actually able 
to affect the molecular rotations which effectively leads to an increase in temperature so sometimes the absorption of this radiation energy actually leads to the uh, increase in temperature of the system and sometimes it will affect the motions of the atoms or motions of the molecules this will generate the motions of the atoms and molecule uh, generate the different possible applications and different possible uh, properties in the materials the energies involved are far too small to affect the chemical structures directly and to break bonds but this may happen at high temperatures as a consequence of heating microwave heating is different from conventional heating since it is a volumetric or bulk effect microwaves are absorbed and the sample is heated to a certain penetration depth conventional heating by contrast actually requires in diffusion of heat the thermal conductivity of the sample k controls the coefficient of thermally diffused according to this theory it is actually a is equal to kappa rho d minus 1 cp minus 1 cp is actually the uh, property which is devised by the diffraction scanning calorimetry it uh, it is actually the results after uh, performing diffraction scanning calorimetry on the samples specific heat capacity where pd is actually the sample density rho d is the sample density and the cp is its specific heat capacity microwave radiations uh, produce an oscillating electric field which couples to dipoles or ions these dipole or ions in a material whose motions continuously attempt to follow the alternating field the success of microwave heating depends on the microwave frequency being comparable to that of dipolar and ionic motions this actually consequently leads to the absorption of energy and subsequently generation of heat the important material properties for microwave absorption are the dielectric loss which is actually represented with epsilon double not permittivity is actually related to the sample conductivity which is the sigma and it is equal to omega e not over dielectric loss where uh, omega is a kind of angular frequency which is 2 pi f and e not is the permittivity of free space and uh, if we said about the value of this e not permit permittivity of free space it would be equal to 8.854 in uh, multiplied by 10 to the power minus 14 per centimeter
द डाइलेक्ट्रिक लॉस एंड परमिटिविटी आर कम्बाइंड इन द पैरामीटर ट्रांस थीटा ट्रांस इज इक्वल टू एप्सलॉन डबल नॉट ओवर एप्सलॉन मीडियम विद हाई ट्रांस थीटा इज नीडेड फॉर एफिशिएंट माइक्रोवेव एब्सॉर्प्शन एंड कंसिक्वेंट रैपिड हीटिंग द पेनिट्रेशन डेप्थ डिफाइंड एज द डेप्थ एट विच इनिशियल पावर हैज ड्रॉप टू फिफ्टी परसेंट ऑफ इट्स ओरिजिनल वैल्यू इट एक्चुअली डिपेंड्स इनवर्सली टू दिस ट्रांस which is very high loss material have low penetration depth why meter, why meals cooked in microwave ovens may still be cold at the center and why metallic objects should not be placed in microwave ovens since their high conductivity leads to a very small penetration depth and sparkingly may occur at metal surface surface microwave heating uh, finds increasing application in material synthesis either as a single heating method or in combination with hydrothermal methods in hydrothermal methods it is somehow supposed to be more effective as compared to by using single microwave heatings because at uh, in hydrothermal methods the very controlled pressure and the autogenous a uh, temperature and autogenous pressure would leads to actually a symmetrical atmosphere which would help us to synthesize material in very uniform microwave heating is quite rapid and convenient cheap and gives uniform nucleation of product often with the narrow size narrow particle size distribution a good example is actually the uh, synthesis of perovskites phases lamo3 where m may be the aluminum chromium manganese iron and cobalt the perovskites materials are supposed to be the uh, renowned material in recent applications in ferroelectrics ferromagnetics non linear optical properties and even in the solar cells starting materials of these uh, starting material for the synthesis of these kind of perovskites material are actually metal nitrides to which 5% carbon black should be added to promote the microwave absorption heating samples in a microwave oven actually uh, found to be far more effective in terms of speed of reaction than heating in a conventional furnace microwave heating has been used for the synthesis of a wide range of complex and metal oxides and chalcogenides and for the crystallization of aluminum oxide in films in coatings and which would facilitate by sol gel methods such films are quite important for their corrosion scratch and abrasion resistance it is becoming an important method for controlling the size and shape of nanoparticles 
by varying conditions such as precursor concentration and nature of templating additives and also controlling the temperature some of the various metroxides uh, nanostructures produced by microwave methods are actually shown in this diagram this is all about the microwave synthesis of inorganic compounds thank you very much